Good morning and thank you for coming back to my channel. I know it has been a couple of weeks. My two young kids have been on spring break, so nothing got done. And um, I'm hoping to get back into a rhythm and provide some useful content. So I am taking this time to have the longest coffee in the world um, because I haven't had one in a while and reminiscing about my last trip to Playa del Carmen and it was a while ago because um, kids and life and pandemic. So, I wanted to talk about my favorite day bag, work bag, lunch bag, afternoon tea bag, which is where, that sounds weird, um, which is where the last time I took my bag was to afternoon tea in London at the Shard. So I love that bags give us that memory of you know what we were doing in that time of our lives. I heavily used my last bag, this bag that I'll be talking about, at my last two jobs in New York City. So it kind of really transports me back into that time and who I was and what I was doing. And it makes me smile because life is very, very different from what it looked like then. So without further ado, this is my beautiful mulberry bag. And it is a rose color. It looks a bit pink in this light today, but it actually is more of a beige if I, Bring it up a little bit closer. And if you're wearing more neutral tones, it brings out more of that underlying pink and it doesn't seem so pink. But I do think that if you're wearing reds or a brighter pink, it does bring out those notes a little bit more. I think this bag is so classic. I don't own any cream bags. So this is as close to a light colored bag that I have ever gotten. And I, use this bag i would say quite heavily for a year and a half to two years you know about five days a week so it got a lot of use i will say it is heavy because the leather is extremely thick and extremely durable and and that's okay you know i don't mind switching arms or switching shoulders um, it's not like I'm going on 45 minute walks with this bag, so um, that's that's fine. I took the subway or I took a taxi sometimes if it was raining, but I never put a guard on this bag at all. I haven't sprayed it with anything. I don't really spray my bags or anything. I um, worry that the texture will change even though they say it won't, but I, I just like bags to sort of have some wear. I think they look nicer when there's life that looks like has happened to them and not so brand new. And as you can see, there are really no big scuffs. There is some scuffing, you know, just on the plate right under here. And I wasn't very careful with it at all. I mean, I was busy. I was running around town. I wasn't paying attention to scuffing my bag, but you should enjoy your bags. I, I don't think that, um, you know, you want to be that delicate with them. You shouldn't have to be when you're spending that kind of money. So I was able to fit, I will say, I'll show you how big this is inside. It's massive. And I've just got some dust bags in there. And it has the most beautiful suede lining I have ever felt and seen. And lots of zip pockets. I'm just gonna put the pick camera a little lower. And then I'll show you how much I'm able to fit in here. So for a typical work day, I was able to put in a water bottle, a sweater, my laptop if I needed, but I did have a separate one at work, and a pair of shoes to change into for the evening if I needed, or a pair of flats that I you know, wanted to bring for later, and you know, my phone, a wallet, and if I needed to bring an iPad or a book, if I wanted to read, it fit everything. So I definitely didn't lack space in a bag like this. But like I said, the bag itself is probably slightly heavier because it is so durable. It's a very thick pebbled leather. And that's actually what drew me to it because I knew that it would last a really long time. And when I stopped working, I haven't really been using the bag because not going to work and I'm not gonna just take it to the grocery store. So it's been sitting nicely in my closet and one day I'll take it back out. But I I wanna say that the price point of these bags is anywhere from 1100 to 1700, depending on the season, depending on the color. And I know 
the Mulberry Bayswater has changed styles as well. I really like the classic style. I think it just looks um, more ladylike and elegant and just nice. And the curved edges I really enjoy a little bit more. And I think that this bag will wear for 20, 30 years. Um, so I prefer this classic style. And they're still selling really, really well. So if you do really like these bags, I would urge you to always look at their sales on mulberry.com. I think that's where the best prices are. I have never seen better prices anywhere else. The way that I was introduced to this brand is that I used to pass by the store in Soho when I lived in New York City, and I just thought the storefront looked so elegant and so nice, and I thought that's you know what I would like to look like and um, you know they do really well for their marketing obviously so it started me kind of getting into that store and taking a look at their bags and then um, eventually I got one so this one was about 1700 I want to say so not inexpensive but not as expensive as you know a Chanel or a Fendi or a Prada and and honestly not a really really big fan of a lot of those brands right now um, the quality has gone uh, significantly downhill. So um, I'm not sure if you've seen a lot of other bloggers, they've been posting a lot about Chanel and how their quality control is just out of control. So I you know, would urge you to look into Mulberry. They have a lot of day bags, night bags. Um, I posted about a wallet that I have. It's my one and only wallet that I use every day and it looks brand, brand new and I've had it for a few years. And I just think that the leather is really unmatched for anything else out there. And the price point as well. You know, if you're gonna be spending $1,500 on a bag, get real leather. You know, why spend it on canvas? It's canvas. So I, I just think that this is a much better buy than anything else. And, you know, obviously it's not everybody's style. And some people like, you know, an extra strap so they can carry it. But this fits over my shoulder just fine as you can see and if it was really really packed it would probably be a little bit harder for me to put it over my shoulder um, so if I'm not carrying my laptop it's probably more feasible for me to put this on like this so um, it's just a gorgeous bag and I um, would highly recommend it if you're just looking for a, a day bag and they come in multiple colors and you know if you don't know what color you want eventually a color that you might like will go on sale and they're usually a ridiculous markdown like sometimes 30 to 40 percent which you know is quite big so I um, don't believe this one was on sale but this was limited and I will never sell it I, I just absolutely like it and if you have any questions about my mulberry base water I'm happy to answer and I hope you all have a great day